so I'm back with a video. It's been a while, but I decided to do something different today with my hair, and I wanted to show you all what I'm going to do. So first, I've been noticing that my hair is really dry, and the ends of my locks are really brittle and dry. So I'm going to do a apple cider um, vinegar rinse. I'm not going to wash my hair. I think I've been washing it a little bit too much, and the scalp is getting dry, and since the weather is changing too, it's probably do that. So I'm going to do an apple cider vinegar rinse just to rinse out any debris and lint or whatever. And also I'm going to do a, what I made here is a rosemary and nettle leaf um, mixture of tea here. And you can kind of see there's a film on top that's because I added a little four or five drops of um, Jamaican cast Jamaican black castor oil or black Jamaican castor oil. So I added that to the mixture. I'm going to strain it into my bowl over here, which has a um, a, a strainer as well as a piece of cheesecloth because I noticed that the nettle leaf has been shredded up very tiny. So it's probably going to get caught in. It probably won't get caught in. Um, in the strainer, so I'm going to need something else to catch that, so I use this cheesecloth. And once I do that, once I get it strained into this bowl, I'm going to then pour it onto my hair into a larger bowl. I'm going to do that a few times just to get it all through my hair. And I'm going to do a, a one quick hot rinse with just plain water so I can get out any of that debris or any of that um, leftover um, nettle leaf because I think that's really it's kind of fine. I didn't realize it was that fine. Even some of the rosemary might stick to my hair because of that oil. So I'm going to do a quick rinse. Um, I might do another rinse of the apple cider vinegar as well. We'll see. After I finish um, conditioning and doing my hair, I'm going to use these um, pipe cleaners. So I've been wanting to do this for a long time um, with my locks. And now that they're a little bit long and um, I want something different. I've decided to do the pipe cleaners. And what I did was bought a pack of black pipe cleaners and I rinsed them off because I've noticed on every, well, I do this for everything. So when I buy a pair of jeans or something like that, I rinse them or I wash them first before I wear them because a lot of dye is still on the, on the clothes. So I don't want any synthetic dyes. I'm trying to stay away from any of the synthetic things in general, but dye especially in my hair. Um, so I rinsed these off. I just filled up my sink with water and put them in and rinsed them off. There wasn't a lot of dye that came off, so that was good. And I got them from the dollar store, so I was really kind of weary about that as well. So then I just twisted them. So here's some right here. So I just folded them over long ways or halfway. And then I just try to do this with one hand because I'm holding the camera. But then I just um, took a small loop and then began to twist the bottom of the pipe cleaner all the way down, like so. Okay. So I've, I've done a bunch of those. I probably will have to do some more because I'm not sure how many I will need. But I have some ready to go. And that will be it. So I'll come back with the second part of this video showing you. I'm not going to show you the rinsing because I need someone else to hold a camera for that and I'm not worried about that right now. But I will show you how I put in the pipe cleaners. It's my first time so it should be interesting. Hi YouTube, so I'm back and the rinse went, went really well. I was um, happily surprised that the, I'll show you, that the um, strainer and the cheesecloth caught all of the nettle. So I was worried about that nettle not actually getting um, getting caught in the cheesecloth, but it did. So I have this mm, wonderful smelling um, mixture left over. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but something. I'm not going to throw it away. So yeah, I did my rinse probably four to five times. Let me show you. show you really quick what that rinse looks like. Hope you can kind of see that. Maybe. Hopefully you can see inside there. Um, yeah, but that rinse really does well. And so I just put my head over the bathtub and um, poured that rinse 
into another bowl. And then once I, you know, squeezed it and ran it through my hair, I poured it again into the, to the other bowl and kept doing that over and over again for about five to six times. So yeah, so now I've been working on my pipe cleaners. So I've pretty much used almost all of the ones that I'm pre-made. So I have one left here that I'll show you. And then while my hands are free, I'll go ahead and show you how to make them um, again here. So you just fold it in half. And what I do is just go ahead and pinch the top and pinch it to probably about half of your thumb. Um, you might not need that much if you have smaller locks. If you have thick locks, which mine are about medium size, so I use about half of my thumb and then just pinch it and twist it all the way down like, like so. Really simple, really easy. Okay, so then I have a few here that I'm going to show you how to do. I hope you can see this. So I have two that I'm going to I'm going to lock or I'm going to I'm going to um to put into the hole of the pipe cleaner. So you should be able to freely move that. And then I'm going to take it to about half an inch there. And I'm just going to fold that up like that and then grasp my the end of my um my pipe cleaner. Hold that while I'm holding holding down the the hair on top of the pipe cleaner. And then I'm going to start twisting upwards. And I kind of just twist in a way that grasps all of the end of the, the lock because I don't want the end to be sticking out because they won't be in the curl. So then I just twist it right up. And I've been doing all of them where I twist up and then I have a piece of the um, pipe cleaner left over at the top instead of at the bottom, and I just fold that down. A few of them have longer pieces that you can fold down and then twist around the bottom as well. You can do that. So let me show you one more time so I have another one made here. So I'm going to take these two, these two locks, and they're all about the same length. So I try to get the ones that are all about the same length. A lot of my locks are not. All, a lot of them are different lengths. So this pipe cleaner actually is two pipe cleaners together. So some of them I made with two pipe cleaners together just in case I had a really thick lock that I needed to, um, or actually a thin lock, excuse me, a really thin lock that I needed to twist around here. And the thicker locks I used just one. Most of them I use just one. So I'm going to put those two locks into my hole here, grab it again, holding it down, and making sure no pieces are sticking out, and then twisting all the way up. One thing that I've noticed is that I had to take a few of them loose. So one thing that I noticed is that my hair is getting a little bit stuck in the pipe cleaner is not a good thing. So taking these out, you really need to be really careful not to get your hair stuck in there. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to continue to finish up my hair and then I'm going to um, sit under the dryer and with my, um, my shower cap probably for maybe 15 minutes just to get my hair to start to dry. I rarely ever 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 use a dryer any heat on my hair at all um, it's just way too dry in southern Arizona to even think about that you go outside for 10 minutes in the sun and your hair is dry um, one thing I wanted to show you too since I haven't done a video in a while the shampoo that I've been using is a Lafia brand and I'm not sure one of my old old videos I think I had some shea butter that I had bought from them so I really like the Lafia products. They have these new new um, designs of their products now. And this is a Shea Inversion Coconut um, Enriching Shampoo with Orange Geranium. Um, it's all natural. It has just um, different extracts, African Black Soap, Shea Butter, um, Glycerin, some oils. Um, 
all natural. They also have a shampoo or a conditioner, but I haven't been using that conditioner. I've just been using my um, jojoba oil or nothing. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'll show you the conditioner so you'll know what that looks like. Yeah, so here is the old conditioner, the old um, design of their their product. So here's the new and here's the old. So you might have seen these. Um, I think they must have just changed the design or maybe this is just a different um, uh, product that they have, a new product. They might still have these on the shelves as well. But this is the conditioner and it also has um, shea butter in it, but it has neem as well. So I haven't been using this in a, um, very much with my hair. So like I said with the, the first part of the video, my hair is really dry. And I think it was also because I got lazy one day and just decided to wash my hair with the, um, it's natural, it's a natural soap, but it's a bar soap that I have. This little bar soap here, I um, got lazy. I was like, let me just wash my hair. I was in the shower. So I used this and I think it kind of dried my hair out. It has a wonderful smell, it's all natural, but it did dry my hair out, so I really wanted to treat it this weekend, that was last weekend, so I want to treat it a little bit <clears throat> this weekend so I can get that moisture back in my hair. Um, so what I did was I had a rinse for um, rosemary and nettle leaf, and I left that steep for probably an hour in boiling hot water, and let it obviously cool while it was steeping, had it covered as well so that the steam and the the fragrance and everything can stay in there and marinate. And then I did my, um, I actually did wash my hair. I said I wasn't going to wash it, but I did wash it with um, one time with this shampoo. I didn't really get a good lather going. I just kind of let it run through my hair, kind of massaged my scalp, rinsed that out, and then rinsed five times or so with a apple cider vinegar mixture. Um, just with water, and then I use my rosemary and nettle leaf um, rinse as well, five or six times. Yeah, so that was it. And the, like I said before, the straining of the nettle and rosemary really did well with the cheesecloth. I recommend the cheesecloth, not just the strainer for that. So I didn't have to rinse again after I rinsed with the rosemary and nettle. Um, because I was wor worried that some of the rosemary and nettle would get stuck in my hair. Didn't have that problem. So everything worked out really well. I'm going to finish up my little um, curls here and hopefully I will get another video for you guys out there with the final product.